And also here in the capital, theater goers were in for a treat as they got a taste of Suzo's tradition. As part of the Suzo Arts and Culture Week, 17 different art forms were presented by the Suzo Pingtan Theater artists. From narrating stories to singing ballads, the stage of the Beijing's Tiancha Performing Arts Center was full of life. The shows just wrapped up yesterday, and here on The Vibe, we give you the highlights of it. Check it out. These performers sing ballads and tell stories of ancient heroes, tragic lovers, all in Suzhou dialect. Performers use instruments like the traditional Chinese sanxian, a three-stringed plucked instrument, and the pipa, a four-stringed lute. Suzhou Pingtan originated in the late Ming Dynasty 400 years ago and is still popular in southern China. Performed in tea houses and small theaters, and mixes the Chinese narrative art forms pinghua and tanzi. Pinghua is called dashu, Beifang called pinshu. Pinghua is also called dashu or pinshu in northern China. The performers narrate the historical and heroic stories from classics like Romans of the Three Kingdoms and Water Margin. While tanzi is performed through both the singing and narration. It's based on folk tales and romances like Legend of the White Snake. Traditionally, there are just two performers, a man and a woman. But today, the art form has become more diverse. Now, when we perform Tanzi, we could have two or three performers. For Pingshu, we could have dozens of artists perform together. We are also working to blend Ping Tan with other art forms. The troupe also creates performances that reflect social events. One of them is Heroic Captain, based on the real-life incident in May 2018 when the cockpit windshield of a Sichuan Airlines flight shattered at 30,000 feet in the air. The pilot and his crew ensured the safety of all souls on board and successfully landed the plane. We are committed to creating more realistic works to pay tribute to those people and heroes. The ability to create new stories and new songs also nurtures the longevity of our troupe. We're also using new media platforms to introduce Suzhou Pingtan to more people, especially to younger generations. To better preserve the art form, a school was set up to cultivate emerging talents. We have strict training methods. After students enroll, they are required to study in our troop. Then they will go to different theaters to perform and finally attend an exam. Many went directly to the Suzhou Pingtan Theater after graduating. For decades, these graduates have spread this folk art unique to China's history. Yang Yuan, CGTN.